Universelle de Fleury. The Feast of the Divine Mercy is approaching. Saint Pope, Pope John Paul II said in the papal blessing on October 5th, 2001, the apostles of divine mercy under the maternal and loving guidance of Mary. Sister Faustina Kowalska learned devotion to the Mother of God in her family, and when at the age of 20 she entered the congregation of the Sisters of the Mother of God of Mercy, her devotion to Mary grew and became even deeper. Since then, she was the daughter of the one who proclaims mercy from generation to generation and learned more about her more deeply. Sister Faustina spoke a lot in her diary about Mary's role as Mother of Mercy. She saw the mercy that Mary experienced in a unique way and the mercy with which God fills men through her. Mary, like no one else, experienced mercy because she was preserved from original sin, filled with the fullness of grace and elevated to the dignity of the mother of the Son of God. She gave birth to the incarnate mercy to the world and in an exceptional way has made possible with the sacrifice of her heart one's own participation in the revelation of God's mercy when on Calvary she was at the feet of the cross of his son. That is why Mary is the one who knows most deeply the mystery of God's mercy. Mary, through her hidden and at the same time incomparable participation in the messianic mission of her son, has been uniquely called to bring men closer to the love that he had come to reveal. On numerous occasions, the Blessed Mother appeared to Sister Faustina together with her son, or appeared as the one who leads towards him, completely consecrated, concentrated on him and participating in his work of saving souls. In those revelations, visions and encounters with the Mother of God, in number 330 of her diary, she writes that the Virgin told her, I am not only the Queen of Heaven, but also the Mother of Mercy and your Mother. In numeral 1244, she adds that the Virgin told her, It is impossible to please God without fulfilling His holy will. My daughter, I strongly entrust you to ful faithfully fulfill all God's desires, because this is what is most pleasing in His holy eyes. I ardently wish that you stand out in this, that is, in faithfulness, in fulfilling the will of God. Put this will of God before all sacrifices and all costs. On March 25, 1936, the day of the Annunciation, the Mother of God appeared to Sister Mary Faustina and praised the souls who faithfully follow the inspirations of grace, also indicating the importance of devotion to the Divine Mercy in the present times, saying, I gave the world the Redeemer, and you have to tell the world about his great mercy and prepare it for his second coming. He will come, not as a merciful Redeemer, but as a righteous judge. That terrible day will come. Speak to the souls of the great mercy of God while there is time. If you remain silent now, you will be responsible for the loss of a large number of souls on that terrible day. Do not be afraid and be faithful to the end. Friends, let us announce without fear the mercy of God, because with God we always win.